Hello, Biome Artists. Today, we are going to be creating some digital artwork inspired by an ancient form of art called mosaics. Mosaics have been around for more than 4,000 years, and a mosaic is the art of creating images with small pieces, sort of like putting together a puzzle that makes a picture. So ancient mosaics were created using things like colored stones and shells, pieces of ivory, and then over the years, artists began using things like colored glass. You can see this one here is a gorgeous mosaic that covers the outside wall of a building, and it uses a huge variety of pieces of glass, stone. I think I even see some broken pieces of ceramic plate in there. Now the artists that work with real glass, they use these tools here. These are glass cutters and they use them to break the pieces of stone and glass into the shapes that they need. So if this is something you'd ever like to try using real glass, you can buy kids safe kits at art stores that have the glass already cut into little squares for you. And you can arrange it into images like these, like a dolphin or a tiger or whatever you want. For today, instead of using glass, we are going to be using our computer. If we were not doing remote art, we might use colored construction paper cut into squares, like the apple. But today, I'm going to show you how to create the one on the right, like the Among Us character, using a program called Google Draw on your computer. When you open your image for the first time, you'll notice there's a plain black background. We need to find an image from the internet for your mosaic. So you'll go up to the insert image menu and choose search the web. Then you can type in whatever you want into this search bar. I'm going to type in flower and then you can scroll through the pictures to find the picture that you want for your mosaic. Don't choose anything too complicated. It works best if you find big pictures. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I find one that I like. Here's a flower that I like. I'll click on this and then click the insert button at the bottom. Now, I'm not going to actually use a flower for this example. I'm going to use an Among Us character. So let's see what that would look like. You want to make sure you stretch the size of your image so it's nice and big on the black background. Don't delete the black background because we will be needing that later. Now pay really close attention to this next part. You're going to go up to the line tool and go down to polyline. This is where you're going to be able to create shapes of whatever shape you want. Click your mouse around the shape, and when you get back to the starting point, the shape will close off and fill in with whatever color you choose. I'm going to switch to white because that shape on the Among Us character is white. Now I'm going to continue this same thing, making new shapes around the Among Us character and matching the color to whatever color I want it to be. Now, it should get easier as I do more shapes of the same color because it will automatically fill in with the same color as before. So I can click, 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 and it fills in. Click, 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 and it fills in again. You're going to do this for your entire character or your entire picture. This might seem like it's going to take a long time, but remember, you have a whole 30 minute art class to work on this. I don't really like that color. I'm gonna to switch to gray, sure. So now I'm gonna keep doing more shapes and they should automatically fill in gray every time I do it. Now, one of the things about mosaics is you can always leave spaces between your shapes. When you make real mosaics, that little space is later filled in with something called grout, or if you're doing stained glass, it's filled in with metal. In our case, we will later fill in the shapes with black background. All right, I'm up here on the top, so that's gonna be more of a pinkish color. Hmm, actually, you can actually create custom colors if you want. So I can slide this bar around to get just the right color that I want. There we go. All right, let me speed up the process while I create the rest of this Among Us character. So depending on the image you choose, you may need to change the colors more or less frequently than I am. That's why sometimes it's good to choose kind of a simple image. All right, I'm adding in the gray here, even on the black outline, because I want those to show up. And now I'll slow it back down to regular speed so you can see what we're going to do next. As I add in the final shapes, each time I click, it closes off the shape. Now to really finish this off, 
we are going to delete this picture of the Among Us and leave just the shapes I've created. So I'm going to go to the Select tool. I'm going to click on the Among Us picture and I'm going to hit the Delete button on my keyboard. When I delete the Among Us, all I'm left with is the black background and all the shapes that I made in Google Draw. Now I can change the colors now that I see it to adjust it to what I want for my picture. So I'm going to change that to a little bit of a darker blue here and I'll make these ones match. You might want to make some minor adjustments to yours once you see your picture completely done. When you're done, don't forget to hit the submit button to turn in your artwork to the Art Google Classroom. Otherwise, I might not know if you're still working on your mosaic or not. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. And remember, if you have any questions about any of the steps along the way, you can rewind this video and watch as I do those steps again so you can follow along. You might find it helpful to open up two screens, one that you're working on and one with the video. Bye everyone, have fun. Thank you.